Yo, it's Two Side Anime here, and you guys know it's that time of the month when we finally get Boruto 2 Blue Vortex spoiler. Don't lie, I'm very excited. The official Naruto account dropped the Chapter 8 panel sneak peek for the month of March. The panel consisted of Jirai and Hidari walking through the Leaf Village. I wasn't surprised one bit because this line a uh, preview announcement for Chapter 8 that we got early in March. X in this preview said Jirai attacks Konoha. Well, Naruto be exhorted. So I already knew that Jirai was going to end up in the Leaf Village. I just didn't know how soon. And it seems like this occurred after Borto left Misa. What I'm going to do is go over the sneak peek panel first. Then I'm going to go through the spoilers. And they're out of order. So what I'm going to try to do is put them together. Because if you read it, you kind of get a sense of when these events are taking place. Sneak peek panel was of Jirai and Hadari walking through the Leaf Village. And Jirai walks into a bookstore and is excited to see all the books. Which is a callback to the end of chapter 7 when we see Jirai just sitting reading his books. Jirai's thirst for knowledge is what's going to make him a great villain. He is taking his time learning about his enemy and making well calculated moves. For example, Jirai is with Hadari, but where is the other two God Tree clones? Jirai separated his team. Hadari went with Jirai and the other two went to infiltrate the Leaf Village on the other ends. I'm really enjoying a well calculated Jirai because the Kara members were too hot headed for me. You had Delta that rushed instantly into the battle against Naruto. We had Boro getting clapped by the new Team 7. Victor attempting to backdoor Jigen, which cost him his life. And the only person that was really calculated in their decisions was Cash and Koji. And that was only because he was working with Amado. I've seen a lot of people in the fandom speculating with, on Hidari's actions, saying that he's finally fallen in line with your rise mission. I'm here to say that's a flat out lie. Let me explain. Based off the timeline and Jirai's leadership position for the God Tree clones, I feel like he was the first God Tree clone that was created. And then the second one was Sasuke after he suffered the loss to Code and his Call Grime army. They really had to jump my boy. I think the third God Tree clone that was created was Bug and the last one was Masari. You know that's a fact because Masari was born right after Muwegi was turned into a tree during Code's evasion. In the panel, Hidari's walking around asking for Naruto Uzumaki, and Jirai himself is very confused that Hidari's taking this kind of approach. Hidari is doing this because he really doesn't care or have an interest in absorbing Naruto Uzumaki. If you remember, Hidari was the only God Tree clone that was questioning Jirai's orders about consuming their targets. Hidari is on a mission of his own to locate Sarada, Hidari, being the only God Tree clone that is questioning his own existence, leaves him open to be influenced by outside sources. And just like how Jirai is looking through books and looking for Naruto Uzumaki, Hidari is looking for his counterpart's daughter. You know Sasuke's last words to Boruto was to protect his daughter, Sarada. The whole reason why Sasuke went on a mission to protect Boruto was because of her awaking her MS Sharingan. These memories are playing in the back of Hidari's mind, causing him to go against Jirai and look for Sarada in hopes to learning his true identity or finding his purpose. Purpose, which is going to be to protect Sarada. Let's move into the order of the spoilers. Spoilers start off with Kawaki, Aida, and Damon, plus Shikamaru, all talking. Kawaki senses Boruto and flies off with Delta to locate. Him. Boruto notices that Kawaki is coming towards him and he uses the flying thunder god to leave the village, which was a big mistake on Boruto's end. For the conversation with Kawaki, we also see Aida watching Miski and Boruto having their conversation from chapter 7. That motivational speech that Boruto gave Miski had a positive effect on Ida. In my opinion, I'm starting to think Ida is questioning herself for helping Kawa. We also see in the panel a claw grime running towards the leaf village. This can go either two ways. One, it's code sending the call grime to infiltrate the village again, or two, the god tree clones now have control of code's army. I think it's the latter because the next bit of spoilers that we got is of Hadari and Jirai walking through the village, killing the Joni Shinobi using wood release. In the text form of the spoilers, as Jirai and Hadari enters the leaf village, 
Sasuke's chakra signature was detected. And at that moment, Sarada learns that Sasuke is in the village. Here on this channel, you guys know I like to make a lot of theories about what's about to take place within Two Blue Vortex. And if you guys remember, I told you guys, when Sarada faces off against Hidari, Hidari is going to remember all of Sasuke's memories. And the start of that theory is happening in chapter 8. Earlier in the video, I said that the God Tree clones have control of Code's army which is something I theorized on this channel before in the Damon becoming a God Tree clone video. And my friend just sent me a panel from the spoilers that I didn't see, which confirms Jirai has control of Code's army by using that black box that he was sitting on top. God Tree clones can enter this black box and pop up anywhere where the claw grimes are located. I need my flowers on that one. Moving on to the juicy parts of the spoilers, we now see Jurai versus Kawaki. Kawaki gets the alert that the God Tree clones have entered the village to the area and tries to go against Jurai and Hidari. In their battle, Kawaki activates his Karma 1 state, but Jurai completely decimates Kawaki. I mean, completely destroys this man, making this the third L Kawaki has suffered since two blue vortex have started. It's starting to get out of hand. It's not looking too good for our boy. That's it for everything that we got from the spoilers. I would say in the next two days, we'll have the unofficial chapter release with a lot of information, and I'm going to probably have to wait until the official chapter releases and make a chapter review video it means more theories are about to come your way and this was the official end of volume 2 of boruto 2 blue vortex and this cliffhanger with jirai completely decimating kawaki was the perfect ending like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think down in the comments and i'm out